this is ear training book eight uh ear training number two in book eight part two the second part of that page we will be doing answers questions and answers to page number five six and seven so question number five says identify the following scales as major harmonic minor melodic minor or natural minor hopefully you understand and know the difference on all of those minor scales here is a Okay, rewind if you need to hear them again, but for A, I played this. Should have written natural minor. B was this. Major. Okay, and C was. You can hear that augmented second in there. Yeah, harmonic minor, right? Okay, in question number six, you're going to hear intervals within the um, octave of a major scale. They're going to ascend or descend, identify each interval by type and size, and each one will either be major or perfect. So don't forget it's all capitals, right? Capital M, three, capital P, four. Okay, here we go. A. Okay, rewind if you need to hear them again. I'm going to go ahead and give you the answers. Don't forget that sometimes it's really beneficial if you can hum or sing the intervals. It's uh, it's an easier connection for your ear to make if you can reproduce it yourself. Okay, so don't be shy. Just uh, hum or sing away. Here we go. A. Major third. B. Major sixth. C. To tune. Perfect fourth. D. Clashy. Major second. E. Same pitch. Perfect octave. F. Perfect fifth, and G. Large and clashy, major seventh. Okay, question number seven, melodic dictation. Four measures, and the first measure is given. Here we go. Follow along with your pencil and measure number one, and then go ahead and uh, map out with uh, the note heads as I play. Here we go. One, two. Don't give up. Don't forget. Go to measure three when I go to three. Go to measure four when I go to four. Here it is again, starting with measure one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One,
okay. If you need to hear it again or time to write in your answers, go ahead and pause or rewind as necessary. Here are the answers. So at the end of the first measure, I was on C sharp and B and here, that third note right there, C sharp B, that's the first note of the second measure. It's just a step down from the B in the previous measure, which means hopefully you drew A. So measure two starts on A and does this. So A, G sharp, A, right? Don't worry about the sharps or in the key signature. But that was just a little half step back to A. And then you kind of need to hear that. Yeah, major third. So it should have been a C. And then ending on a B for a half note, right? Two eighths, two eighths half note in that measure. So your half note B at the end of measure two goes right into this note for measure number three. Same note. Okay, so here we go with measure number three, starting on the B. Okay, one and two, and it's a pretty basic little melody pattern, right? Up three notes, back to the starting note. So B, C sharp, D sharp, B. Okay, hear that? fourth it's also your tonic right so uh e for the third beat in that measure quarter note e and then the fourth beat went right on either side of the e so f sharp and d sharp the last measure e up one f sharp e half note good job